So welcome to this lesson today. We're going to talk about how to make um, butters and spreads from things like uh, pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds. And so what we've done is that we have already soaked and um, soaked the pumpkin seeds and the sunflower seeds overnight and then we have dehydrated them uh, for about 24 hours. And so uh, today we're gonna make this from the pumpkin seeds, but I just wanted to at least show you uh, the, the pumpkin and the sunflower seeds. Mm -hmm. And so Mercy, can you just let us know how many cups of what we're gonna use? Sure. So we have one cup of pumpkin seeds and one cup of uh, shredded coconut. That makes it taste super great. So, so one cup of one coconut. Cup of and one cup of pumpkin seeds that have already been soaked overnight. And how much salt is this? This is one teaspoon of salt that we're gonna add it toward the end. Otherwise, it doesn't make butter for some reason. And the pumpkin seed had to be super dry. Okay, yeah. yeah. So you want to make sure that if you wash this right before you use it, that you dry it really good. You don't wanna have any moisture. Mm -hmm. So we're going to run it for about 20 minutes, right, Joyce? Yeah. The thing about this is that I've made it with salt, and so that's probably why it doesn't process that well. <laughs> so this is going to be 20 minutes. In On high? high. On okay. High. So we're... So here are the uh, seed butters at the end of uh, about, what, 20 minutes of processing. And here's the sunflower. You can see the pumpkin seed. It's a beautiful green. And um, we didn't show you how we process sunflower seeds, but you can do it exactly the same with equal parts of sunflower mm -hmm. seeds, coconut, and salt. Well, not equal parts salt, but about a teaspoon of salt per um, cup of each, if that makes sense. But um, we just tried this this morning and uh, it, it uh, was a huge hit for our crew here today. Hope that you enjoy it as well. 